Alright, I promised I'd do a, a video about camera equipment, so here it is. Uh, my main camera for a long time was just like this one. It still is, actually. Uh, this is exactly the same as the camera that I'm holding in my hand making this video. I have two of them. This one is actually broken. Uh, I wrecked the, the screen on it. But it does still take video. So if I need it, I can set it up in a tripod with the other camera and then just swap them and just not move anything. So that still works. I also just use it to charge the battery for the other one. But I have two identical cameras like this one. It's a Canon HFR 700 camcorder. It'll do uh, 1080p 60 frames per second. Uh, this one here I had glued a, a shoe mount on or whatever you want to call them for mounting microphones or whatever. But I never did it to the second one. And uh, the stick that it's on is a, like a selfie stick. Um, it extends out to 40 inches, so you can kind of just talk like that or whatever. That works pretty good. It doesn't work very good in the wind, though. The wind noise kind of sucks on it. Um, this here camera is actually what I started out with. I had two of them. This is the one I got left. Uh, it's a Nikon Coolpix AW120, I think. Uh, yeah, AW120. So these are waterproof, shockproof, dustproof, all that stuff. Uh, it won't do 1080p 60, it'll do 1080p 30. Um, they work pretty good. Uh, I had a few batteries for it. Um, it takes an SD card, all that stuff. They're pretty good camera. Picture quality isn't terrific on them. You're giving up a bit with that. Um, maybe the new ones are better. I don't know. Sound quality is okay. Not great. Uh, but they are convenient because it's a lot easier to carry this little camera around than a camcorder. You just put it in your pocket and uh, it's a lot easier like that. So, um, yeah. I also have this camera. It's a Nikon 2. Uh, Nikon 1 actually is what it's called, but it is a Nikon also. <laughs> uh, pretty good camera. Um, I mostly use it for mounting on this thing, which I'll get to in a minute here. But uh, yeah, it's not bad. The zoom on it is like manual, which I don't really care for that much, but whatever. And the problem with these ones is they're limited to, I think, about 20 minutes video time before it'll just sh shut off so if you're doing something setting it up or whatever and it's going to be more than 20 minutes or, or they're about 20 minutes it ends up cutting it off so it's kind of a pain in the ass that way but uh, not always you get to that kind of time frame anyway here is a uh, GoPro this is the first one I bought it's GoPro Hero 3 Plus I bought that in 2015 I think Actually, it might even be older than that. It might be 2014. I don't remember. They're brand new when I bought them. I bought it anyway. Uh, it's a black edition, so it does the 4K, I think. 4K, 2.7K, but all I ever used is the 1080p60. Uh, it's got the Wi-Fi and everything. It came with a remote, which I never use. I just use my phone. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, when it's in the case, the sound quality isn't very good. But other than that, it's, it's uh, not that bad. And then I bought this one here, which was a Hero 4 Session. I think I bought that in 2015, maybe. Uh, this is the la last GoPro that I bought. Actually, I haven't bought one in four years. Both of them still work. Uh, although they do have problems occasionally. This one here, the sound is actually pretty good on it. Like, it doesn't have a case. It just has the holder for it. But the sound is pretty good. Uh, actually using that one today. And the last or latest camera that I've bought is this one here. This is a DJI. Um, let me get it in the light here a bit. DJI Osmo. So this is basically a drone camera mounted on a stick, so it stabilizes everything. Um, maybe I could turn it on and show you guys. You have to unlock everything on it though. I'm going to wreck it probably. Yeah, so.
pretty cool. Um, your cell phone attaches to it. And I've got a microphone mounted on it too with a wind guard I've been using lately. So it works pretty good like that. And just turn it off like that. So those are pretty cool. That's an Osmo 1. I bought it used. Uh, after that was the Osmo Plus, and I think there's an Osmo Pocket now is the newest one, but Mac Farms camera budget is not enough to buy new cameras like that because those are expensive. Actually, the new one, the new Pocket one's not too bad, but I like these ones better. Um, and actually, you can get this exact same thing that holds your phone where the camera is, and you use your phone as the camera, and I think they're under $200, so that'd be a pretty good setup too, I think. And then you could use just a mic that works at your phone. So, and then I guess lastly we'll move on to my drone, which I never use because I broke it. It's a uh, Phantom 4. I think I paid like 1500 bucks for this thing. But I broke, I think it was the gimbal yaw motor. And I just haven't been bad time to replace it or I haven't found one online or whatever. But one of these days I'll get it working and we'll get back to running the drone because, uh, take some nice shots. The only problem with the drone is it's kind of a pain in the ass because uh, there's no sound with it. Obviously with the noise of the drone you'd never hear anything anyway but uh, you always have to rig up something else to pick up the sound from what you're making a video of or just put music over it. So it's kind of a pain in the ass that way but it does take some nice shots that's for sure. Um, so moving on to sound I have this here. It's a uh, a zoom f1 field recorder and you plug in like a lav mic that like you put on your by your shirt by your mouth or whatever by your neck and uh, that works really good but uh, I broke the mic for it so I need to get another one and looking online it seems like the lav mic portion of it is just as expensive as buying the whole thing over again so that's pretty cool I could maybe try a cheap mic on it or something I don't know or I could use it with that mic too that would work so I mentioned this here earlier in the video uh, this is called a solo shot let me take that out so you mount this on a tripod and you mount a camera on top of it like so and what this does is it'll spin around I can't do it because it's got motors on it but it'll spin around this way and this way with the camera following this here tag that you I usually velcro it on the roof of a tractor or on the hood or whatever like the 135 but there's also a wrist strap you can wear to hold it and this here is kind of peeling back on me a bit but it works pretty good it'll follow you around it's kind of like uh, having a cameraman but not really it doesn't work inside because it runs off GPS and it's a pain in the ass to set up it takes about 10 minutes and it's usually 10 minutes I don't have so I very rarely use it but I did pay quite a bit of money for it and uh, it does work good for its purpose I think there was a new version out that a couple guys had tried but never had much luck with it I don't know if they didn't know how to set it up or what but anyway I think that's about it for my cameras um, now of course my phone is a camera itself which I've used for tons of videos too um, so for new guys starting out I mean I wouldn't go out and buy a DJI Osmo and a Phantom 4 drone and one of these solo shot things I mean you'd be spending a few thousand dollars doing it and it wouldn't be worth it uh, I think the most important thing in the videos is the content uh, and then video quality and uh, sound would come second but when I started out I used one of these and I think a lot of guys still use them um, so this one here is all scratched you can see but uh, yeah even your phone would be a good place to start because it's something you always have on you I know a lot of guys still use it but the problem with the phone I've always had trouble with is uh, trying to edit the videos. I just find it difficult on such a small screen trying to edit with that. Yeah, I usually end up transferring them over to my uh, MacBook and then I edit them in iMovie which is a pain in the ass too. Just getting them transferred over in that. So, 
Anyway, I still haven't found the best camera for doing YouTube videos, but maybe someday I'll figure it out. This here is a pretty good setup if it wasn't for the sound quality, like if I could put a different mic on it. And the whole reason I didn't put a different mic on it was because it does have a mic port right here, but as I found out, is it's not a powered mic port, so you'd have to have external power for the mic, and uh, just a different, more expensive kind of mic that you'd have to buy and stuff, so uh, I just never got around to it. it. It would end up being a $200 camera with a $300 microphone on it, basically. And just I never did it. So, yeah, I don't know if I have any, you know, better advice than than what I've given already. But uh, yeah, that's my camera setup. So hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.